All right, guys, I don't normally focus on sort of negative content. I don't normally make videos where I'm sort of dunking on a company or something like that. I just don't think that adds much of value to the broader discourse. But today, I have to do something kind of like that simply because I feel like this news story might be getting buried just a little bit in light of the fact that Apple has just announced that they, uh, in 2024, will be bringing RCS to their iPhone devices. A couple of days prior to that announcement, nothing, almost said OnePlus, nothing, the phone company that made the Nothing Phone 1 and the Nothing Phone 2, uh, founded by Carl Pei, who came from OnePlus, he was the co-founder of OnePlus, they announced something very very strange, and they didn't just like announce it a little bit. They put out a hype video explaining it. MKBHD had an exclusive talking about it. This was crazy. What this was, was a collaboration with a company called Sunbird to bring, effectively, iMessage to the Nothing Phone 2. Now, their methodology for doing this is immediately to me something that stood out as being a little bit strange. In order to have these iMessage features to literally appear as a blue bubble from your Android device on someone else's iPhone was to basically give them your iCloud credentials and Sunbird it deploys an array of Mac computers, which will then, I guess, have multiple instances in them, some sort of way to make that more efficient. You'll be logged in on one of these computers. You send a message. It goes from your phone to that array of Mac computers. It is sent. The iPhone user receives it. They send you a message. It hits that array of Mac computers, and then it's sent to your phone. So they're basically just putting a Mac computer in the middle as a middle man to serve this pseudo iMessage messaging application. Now, again, this immediately stands out to me as being very odd. You're giving your credentials to this company to do this, but they assured all of us that this was safe, this was secure, and that none of your messages were being stored by nothing or by Sunbird. Everything was encrypted. Well, it took a very, very short amount of time for this to sort of blow up in their face. We have an article here by 9to5Google that we just have to dig into. So the first thing we need to look at is this tweet from this user. No idea how you would go about pronouncing that, so I'm not even gonna try. Nothing Chats, which is a skinned Sunbird application, is an absolute privacy nightmare that sends and stores all data unencrypted on Firebase. And for whatever reason, it also sends all message attachments to Sentry again in plain text, and then they show some bits of uh, some bits of text here. I guess is the best way that I could put this, where they're sort of showing that indeed your messages are being saved unencrypted as plain text. This is, as they said, an absolute privacy nightmare. Now you may be wondering though, who is this individual? Can they be trusted with their findings? Well, nine to five Google says they can independently confirm this person, this individual's findings. Not only is stuff being sent and is actually accessible in real time in plain text, V cards are also accessible, which is a really big problem because that has people's username, phone numbers, email addresses, sometimes even more personal data. He mentions that over 630,000 media files are currently stored by Sunbird via, via Firebase, including images, videos, more and more and more. So while it's true Sunbird doesn't store user data on its own servers, data is very much being stored. And again, the important thing is it's not even encrypted. What are these photos? What are these videos? You can imagine very personal things potentially being stored right there for someone to be able to access. They even referenced a post on text.com where these people pointed out a very short bit of code can automate the process of downloading this information, just basically downloading all the stuff we're talking about. And this is absolutely insane. Yikes is a great word to use for this. This is madness. And as a response to this, nothing fairly quickly 
made a tweet saying they'd remove Nothing Chats beta from the Play Store. They're delaying the launch. They're going to work with Sunbird, Sunbird to fix uh, what they call several bugs. I think that's kind of the understatement of the year. And even if they do pull this and they fix this stuff, this is a massive, massive problem for me. If I am a consumer, which I guess I am, this is going to paint my perception of nothing quite radically because the idea that they weren't that, like, okay, let's, let's pause for a second. Let's back up. There are two options here, right? So one, nothing wasn't aware that this was going on, which says to me they were not taking privacy very seriously at all because they did not look into it. It took a very small amount of time for this to be looked into. Like the beta came out and within hours, this stuff was coming out. So this was right there in front of their faces they didn't take the effort to look into it. That's option number one. Option number two is they just didn't care, which again is is deeply, deeply concerning. Why would you want to buy a phone from a company who cares about your privacy so very little? I don't think I would. Now, to make matters worse, this Sunbird messaging app has been in operation for a while, and presumably people have been using it. That's where they got the 630,000 plus files that are being stored without the knowledge of the people who are sending them. So if you've used this app, I would encourage you quite highly to stop using this app. And I would also encourage everyone watching this video going forward do not give your credentials to random companies like this, your iCloud credentials in particular. Do not give these credentials to random companies. And if a company like this pops up out of nowhere claiming to be super duper encrypted and safe and to be able to do things like this that seem impossible, you should be treating that with some high levels of skepticism until it has been dug into and broken apart and confirmed to actually be real. I guess the good news is, is that RCS is coming to iPhones soon enough, so a lot of these features are going to be sort of unnecessary, and really all you would be doing with Nothing Chats or Sunbird's app is getting the blue bubble. So again, is it worth trading getting a blue bubble in exchange for your security, the privacy of your messages? I personally can't imagine how that would be the case. And look, I posted this on threads right after they announced this application. And I said it very, very quickly that this seems like a lot of effort. It seems a little bit crazy to me. And of course, many people were commenting and saying this is a great way to get hacked. This is not a good thing to do for security. And then, of course, it turned out that it was so much worse than any of us really could have possibly imagined. Crazy story. Again, not doing this just to like dump all over nothing. Like I think the nothing phones look neat, I guess. They're not really for me. The hook of them doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing this to just dump on this company, but this new story does not need to get passed by and buried. We need to be aware of what happened because this is a pretty serious thing that occurred. Now it was only in beta. It's not going to have affected very many people from nothing. But if not for the reporting, if not for the investigative reporting that I'm, I'm calling out here, I'm going to link to in the description, this could have been a really, really big deal. And nothing absolutely has to be better than this going forward. So guys, those are my thoughts on the Nothing Chats fiasco. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Has this changed your perception of nothing? Uh, again, let me know in those comments down below. Subscribe before you go. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay there, my